Hello everyone, it's Theme Park Avenue, I'm Eric. Six Flags has announced that it will be getting a Skyline Family dueling coaster in two parks, and probably, probably not actually, Aquaman Power Wave in 2023. But when will it get another RMC hybrid? Remember, kind of in the mid, early 2010s, they were getting tons of those. We had New Texas Giant, Iron Rattler, Twisted Colossus, so much more. They've stopped. And we have to wonder, will RMCs come back? I think the answer is yes. Let's analyze when that will be, where it might go, and what it could look like for the future of Six Flags and what would have to happen for this to be a possibility. Let's begin with an easy one. When? I imagine 2025 or 2026, depending on Six Flags financial state, they will get another RMC. Based on the backlash that CEO Salim Bustle received, I imagine that he will realize, okay, people come here for the thrills, so he'll get a thrilling ride in the next few years. I don't think it'll be 2024. I think it'll take a little time for him to realize and to put the money in. And that's why I think 2025, 2026 is the most likely time. I lean toward 2025, but because that's closer, I want to give myself leeway and say the later one. But we'll settle on 2025 for now. Where will it go? Logically, I feel Six Flags America is the best place. They have not had a major investment in over a decade, pretty much. And I think there's so much that could go with this. Roar is not really a highly regarded ride, so if they rmc seen that, it would give a draw for the millions of people in the DC and Baltimore areas to go there. I feel like America could be one of the most popular Six Flags parks. It just needs a bit more publicity. And a big roller coaster like this could certainly do that. I feel like maybe La Ronde is a possibility, but they don't seem to like putting new stuff into La Ronde. I like Le Mans the way it is, honestly. I wouldn't really want it changed. But RMC Le Mans could happen. I think more likely, for logical sake, Six Flies America. That said, there are other parks that are possibilities. They could go for a big popular one like Great America or Great Adventure that doesn't have one. But the issue with that is their wooden coasters. Great Adventure does not have one that would be RMC'd because I feel like there is no way El Toro is getting RMC'd anytime soon. And for Six Flies Great America, they have Little Dipper, unlikely. American Eagle seems unlikely because of the historical significance and, to an extent, the iconography of the ride. Viper, I see as the most likely, but I still don't think it would happen. And Goliath is obviously already an RMC and is not getting any backlash like Lightning Rod did, so it seems like this park is not really the most likely. But I think somehow, the park it will end up at is Six Flags St. Louis. This might seem weird, I'll explain a little though. So I think more likely it's going to be Boss. American Thunder and Screaming Eagle are still possibilities, but Screaming Eagle is more historic, and American Thunder seems to get in general, more praise than Boss, and not to mention it has less space to work with. An RMC Boss would be awesome. And consider how many enthusiasts would be willing to travel from a pretty far distance to go there. Bear in mind the St. Louis metro area is not as big as that of most Six Flags Park metro areas, so there's a reason why this is not the most popular of parks. But if they could get more people from far away, which I think an RMC definitely would do, I think Salim could see this as a big win. But in general, here is the way I see this happening. Salim will realize the family focus is not working that well, so he'll start adding thrilling rides. He'll realize that RMCs were really popular and successful in every Six Flags park they went to. So he'll think St. Louis would be a good one to invest to because of the fact that over Georgia and over Texas are some of the ones getting investments right now. Obviously Fiesta Texas would not be getting a new RMC because they already have two RMCs, and one's a hybrid anyway. And I think the fact that Boss doesn't seem to get very long lines, isn't the most popular, but is still very well known. I realize Salim could definitely overlook this fact, and maybe because it's my mind saying this, I'm the only person who thinks this could happen. But I think it makes sense. Just the idea of such a grand, large RMC one of the best roller coasters in the world, possibly, coming to a lesser Six Flies park. Consider the fact that Worlds of Fun is a major competitor 
because it's in the same state as Six Flags St. Louis, Missouri. And the fact that it's getting a new roller coaster and kind of becoming a more popular one for Cedar Fair to invest in. If they do the same thing at Six Flags St. Louis, it might draw more people who would be choosing Worlds of Fun over St. Louis back to St. Louis. So Six Flags could come out on top with that, and it would be a huge benefit for the chain as a whole. Now the reason why this is the least likely is because, first of all, it's not the safest bet, and second, the fact that an RMC coming to Six Flags at all is not particularly set in stone. It's not the most likely because of the fact that Six Flags is not super successful. This year was terrible. They were pulling in, in 2019, quite a bit of revenue. They were getting millions upon millions of dollars at each park, and it seems that it's basically 20% of that for some parks in 2022, based on their financial reports. I can imagine Six Flies going for broke with this, though. Based on the fact that in the past they've gone bankrupt, as if they have nothing to lose, they go for everything, they go bankrupt, they come back in a new form, Six Flies just doesn't die. So I think it's inevitable we get a new RMC, this decade at least. And I think because of the popularity of Six Flags Parks Amongst Enthusiasts, whether for loving or hating them, and the fact that plenty of enthusiasts make up the market of Six Flags Parks more than most other chains, I imagine RMC Boss would be one that could be a huge success if done right for Six Flags as a whole, and that's why Salib would most likely be willing to do that, even if he doesn't step down actually, I still think if someone else is in their place, this could go well. And the RMC boss is still among the most likely. Maybe I would lean toward the RMC roar in that case. But overall, my prediction is that if Six Flags does get an RMC hybrid in the next few years, it's going to be RMC boss 2026. Maybe 2025, but let's go with 2026. Is this unreasonable? Possibly. Is it unfounded? Not at all. I can see it happening, and maybe you can too. Let me know in the comments below, and subscribe for more theme park content. I'll see you next time.